How's it going guys? I am here to talk about the Chauvet Intimidator LED Spot 450. I've been, they've been catching my eyes for quite some time now. It's a brand new light, came out in March 2013. I guess because it's so new, I haven't seen any reviews on the internet so far. I thought it was time to get that going. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just go over some of the pros and cons of the light today. I'm also comparing it to my Alation PowerSpot 250s. I know they're a little bit dated, but I've been using them on gigs for seven years now, and I definitely needed a light that was comparable to it and can still come off as just as high end. So just a little quick background leading up to this. The Chauvet Intimidator Spot 350s came out about two years ago, and they've become an industry standard for my industry anyway, which is mobile DJing, mostly weddings. I do events anywhere from 200 to 500 people consistently, so we definitely needed a high-end light. Uh, the Intimidator Spot 350 was bright, light, cheaper, everything was great about it. The only thing I didn't like about it was the appearance of the actual fixture. The fixture was smaller and I thought if you're just looking at the fixture alone, it didn't look as good as the elations, the design spots, the power spots. And so for that reason alone, I kind of held off for a little while. Then earlier this year, the Intimidator Spot 450s came out, kind of put all my fears to rest. Uh, Size-wise, it is slightly bigger than the PowerSpot 250, and it's also lighter, about, only about eight pounds lighter, but enough to still be very comfortable with it. The base is a little bit wider, um, so anybody using the 12-inch plates from Global Trust to put them on, you're either gonna need to secure it down tightly or get the slightly bigger ones, and I think the next one up is the 16-inch. Appearance of the fixture itself, the 450 is a matted appearance, as the 250 power spot is a flat plastic, makes a big difference. The 450 looks definitely really professional, you definitely wanna put that out there for your clients. It's got a great array of gobos to go along with it and all the standard features you would expect in a moving headlight for today's events. What was attractive about this light was the prism feature and what was different about this prism feature than other ones in the past was that the this prism feature actually separates into three separate beams truly creating a much wider field and a multiple light effect as opposed to other prisms in the past including the power spot 250 where the light the beams actually just overlapped making it a wider beam which was cool but i feel this way with the three separate beams you're definitely getting more for your money being that the Intimidator Spot 350 was already brighter than the other 250 bulbs out there, like the Design Spot and the Power Spot, this one is almost three times brighter than the Intimidator Spot 350. Just it lights up a room completely as far as brightness as anybody in the mobile industry. This should be absolutely more than enough for you. There should be no question in your mind that these will be bright enough. Much more closer to a 575, not as bright as a 575, but as far as I know, there aren't a lot of people in this side of my industry using 575s, they were all using 250s. So as far as the brightness is concerned, you are definitely covered there. As far as the colors on this, and you'll see a couple examples now, the colors are different than a regular halogen bulb. They're brighter. I don't know if they're necessarily deeper. Um, you can judge that on your own. I do believe that the PowerSpot 250 does have a more even range, an even field of range on it, um, more complete, but just from the pure brightness of the 450 alone, it kind of blows it away. Uh, another major attraction of the LED lights, as opposed to the halogen bulbs, is now finally reds are bright enough and deep enough to really use red in your show. When I've used the PowerSpot 250 reds, it was very dull, didn't really put out enough power compared to the other colors in the fixture, and now um, with the LED lights, the Chauvet lights, they've come a long, long way, and now you can use pretty much any of those colors in your show, and none of them really is brighter than another, they just kind of blast. Another cool feature about this light um, is its blackout feature. I don't know if this is with all LEDs or just this one, but when I compare it to my Alation 250 versus this one, the Alation 250, when you black it out, you can still see white beams coming from the light. If you look in the iris itself, you can see there's just something blocking the light. Um, when you do the blackout on the 450, it is actually truly blacked out and you don't actually see any light coming from the fixture. Um, whether that changes the show a lot or not, is up for debate. I just thought it was something that was kind of cool. 
Uh, one of the only few downsides that I found about this, which is has plus and negatives within itself, because this is its beam is combined from three LEDs. The LEDs need to align with each other in order to focus. So you just need to do a better job of focusing your lights. Um, as you would to other one bulb or halogen bulb fixtures just because it's three bulbs inside of it that need to focus. And once you do get it focused, it should be razor sharp and you'll be good to go from there. Um, feel free to leave comments and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. So do some research, pick up these lights, I can guarantee you, you'll be very happy with them.